we need to make sure that she's on there. What is this? Yeah, because see that the, the system. All right. So on Gabriel Maurice Gobert, come forward. So on this system, and it has Daniel Vela listed as well, I, I think that I'm supposed to be lead counsel with him, and somehow I have to check and see what's going on with that. So All right. So if he's on the system and you're not, it shows that he's on the system. Yeah, but he's on it. We're co-counsel on it. Well, so no, he would have been notified. No, Norma checked. He wasn't notified. Well, here's his the thing. Checked. This was set for August 20th, and there was a no-show by the defense attorney and Mr. Gobert. Yep, and Norma checked. Okay, so let me finish speaking. Okay. All right, everybody, take a breath. Calm down. Let me finish speaking. So he was set on August 20th, and the court is aware that sometimes there's some issues with the system. And your attorney listed on the system is Daniel Vela. She's not listed on the system as your attorney. Now, whether she's second chair, their co-counsel, doesn't matter. If she's not in the system, she's not going to get noticed. Yeah, no, okay. no, stop. The only person who's going to get noticed is the person who's on the system. I will tell you who Daniel is. Daniel, she said, is her co-counsel on this case. And he's the person who's listed. So if you don't know Daniel, then you probably should introduce yourself or he shouldn't be listed on the system. So this was scheduled on August 20th. Because there have been issues with the system, I don't immediately issue a bond forfeiture because maybe somebody didn't get notice. So Ms. Ferguson will send out an email or contact or text the attorney. So that's why this case was set on August 20th and I didn't do anything. But what I wrote on the docket sheet is recall for August 22nd, 2024. And I have no show, defense attorney and defendant. And then I put no notice in the system. So that is why we're here today. So who's the prosecutor on Gabriel Maurice Gobert? All right, state, is all of the discovery uploaded? All right, have you checked to see if any discovery is uploaded? All right, are you able to look and see if the discovery is uploaded? It's, do you need the cost number? I will need the Jan, if you give me a moment to log in. What I can tell you is I don't have access to the JN number, I don't think. You want me to look it up? Uh, yes, please. It is uh, 212. Uh, just one second. He's logging in. 212. 9226. Your Honor, I have not conferred. To let that grow. discovery with Ms. Wallen. So I don't know if there are any items missing in, that, in her opinion, should be. All right. So here's my question What you're looking at, does it show where you have uploaded items? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So, Ms. Ferguson, set this for discovery in 30 days. And by that time, when you all come back, everybody needs to be prepared to sign an acknowledgement of discovery. What date? All right. And Ms. Ferguson, is Ms. Whitman now listed as his attorney or no? All right. So we need to make sure that she's on there. What is this? Yeah, because see, the, the system's all messed up. Yeah, I, I should be on there as lead counsel. Well, I mean, you're not on there, but what I do know is Daniel Vela is listed. You don't know who he is. I understand she's saying that's her co-counsel. So who is lead, who is second, doesn't really matter. It's he's listed on there. And if she wants to be listed as lead counsel, then it needs to be put in the system that she's lead counsel. And the only way it can be put in the system that she's lead counsel is if she files a notice and puts on there that she's lead counsel. Which I did. All right. Which All right. I thank did. you. Uh, Norma, give them the reset form for September 23rd and make sure both parties sign it. Thank you. Thank you. Do you find it online? I'm not looking at your oh. I'm updating the people. So how do I, how does that mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.